Saipan, Guadalcanal, Tuladi, all of them, the Fijis, he fought for this country, he fought for freedom. When he came back, he met my mother, they got married, they had their children, they raised us to be civilized, courteous, educated, and with a work ethic. They did all the right things. Now, I look up, and I look for my parents, and I say to myself, and I say to them, Mom and Dad, what do you see when you look down on this country today? What do you see? So if you want to know why I'm running for Congress, that's why. I'm running for Congress because my mother and father handed me a great country, and I intend to hand that great country to my children and grandchildren. not where work was hard to find. Where veterans, where veterans are respected and not neglected. A country where the Constitution is not reviled, but revered. Where family, where family is considered a blessing. Amen. And where decisions about life and death are based on more than just women convenience. So how am I going to do this? I'll tell you how. We don't have time for all the details today. I'm going to Washington, D.C. And I'm going to Washington, D.C. not to make friends. I'm going to Washington, D.C like Thomas Paine before me, and like the son of the man you're going to hear speak in a little while, I'm going to Washington, D.C. to make common sense. When you wake up on Wednesday, November 5th, and you look in the mirror, you're going to say, for the first time in years, I have representation in Washington that stands on principle, honesty, truth, American principles. I have representation in Washington, D.C.